The Senate advanced Judge Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court nomination in a key procedural vote Sunday, paving the way for a final confirmation vote to take place Monday. KCAU 9's Anna Wernicke is in Washington with more. Senate will come to order. In an unusual Sunday session, the Senate voted 51 to 48 to end debate and schedule a final vote on Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the U.S. Supreme Court. This is something to really be proud of and to feel good about. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called the procedural vote a victory. Republicans are on track to confirm Barrett before Election Day. I oppose her nomination. Senator Dianne Feinstein says Barrett will allow the court to erase many of the rights Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg fought to protect. It's a travesty. A travesty. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate should wait until after the election to fill the Supreme Court vacancy. Confirming a lifetime appointment this late into a presidential election season is outrageous. Schumer has repeatedly tried to slow Barrett's confirmation process, including forcing a rare closed session on Friday. Illinois Democrat Dick Durbin says the Senate should be focusing on other issues. The Republican leader Mitch McConnell says we have no time to discuss COVID-19. No, but we have all the time we need to make sure we have our Supreme Court justice on the bench. But McConnell says a full nine-member high court must be a priority because of its lasting impact long beyond Election Day. The Senate is doing the right thing. We're moving this nomination forward. The Senate now has 30 hours to debate Barrett's nomination before the final Senate confirmation vote, which McConnell says will take place late Monday. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, KCAU 9 News.